So log into Techmatics, click on marketing and emails, and we're going to go to the email builder. Because remember, we build emails in the builder and we send them in campaigns or in workflows. So let's go into our email builder. Remember to always go and find your master template because your master template you build once with all the footers on the bottom, any social share links, the unsubscribe link that you need. So find your master. There's my master template. Click on your three dots and clone it. Right, you're not editing your master, you're cloning your master, and then give it a name. So let's pretend that this course is gluten-free course student check-in email. We're going to press clone, and first of all, it's going to give us the option to build out this particular email, and you have full creative freedom as to what you want it to look like. Maybe you've got an image you want to stick at the top that's your course cover image so click on your little left hand image choose your course cover i'm just going to pick something random for the sake of demonstration let's pretend that's the cover for my gluten-free course then um, in our little plus sign up here is where we pull over all of our elements if i wanted to add some text drag and drop the text element i'm going to say hi contact first name the little looks like a cursor over a box if you hover over that it says custom values click on that and press contact first name and that's going to put the contact's first name in there now remember you can change all the formatting if you want if you don't want that to be bold if you do if you want to change that from a heading to just normal paragraph text you can change the colors the fonts and everything you want there now this is going to be the email like we've got in karen's diagram here that's going to repeatedly send over and over again it's just going to keep sending out at the frequency that you choose so what do you want that repeating check-in email to say? Obviously you write whatever you want. Thank you for joining my gluten-free course, blah, 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 blah. And obviously write whatever you want. Then you can add in a number of different custom fields. So if I go back to this custom values, we can scroll down when it's course related, you need to go to this option called membership contacts. Membership in Techmatics refers to any product that's inside your courses and memberships section. So it might not necessarily be an actual membership, right? It could be a course, it could be a workshop recording, it could be a webinar recording, it could be an ebook, it could be a digital download, but anything that's stored in that products area of the courses and memberships area is going to be pulled out from your membership contacts section. So when you click on that, you've now got a whole bunch of other options you can pull in to your email that's going to pre-fill and automatically fill that individual's personal information. So for instance, we might say, here is your login email. That's the first thing we're gonna pick. The next thing, let's go back to custom values, back to membership contacts. Here is your login URL. And we can even add in, I'm just gonna make a space we can also add in their password. We can add in a space. We can even put in, there's a bunch of other stuff in here you might like to pull over. And um, the offer title is the course that they've purchased, okay? Offer title. So the first thing I'm gonna do is split them all up into different lines. Maybe we want the offer title to be at the top. So I'm gonna highlight it, cut it. You could even, thank you for joining my, replace that with, membership contact offer title and it's going to replace what they've bought there if you want to do that okay you don't have to you can just text write those words i personally text write the word there the reason why is because if they've purchased multiple offers it's tech is tech right <laughs> it may put in the wrong contact offer there however we are going to be telling our workflow if they've purchased this gluten-free course, then send this email. So it will pull there the title of the offer that workflow is related to, just FYI. But you can either pop that in or put the title in, but that's what that code does. Then you've got some text. Now we've got their membership URL. I might put that first. Membership URL is basically going to give them the link that they need to click on to log into your course. Okay, so I put in here, log in link and then paste in that code. Then next to their email, I'm gonna go log in email, semicolon, then the code for that email. And then finally, we've got their password and this will pre-fill with whatever the password the system generated. So log in password can go like that. Now you don't have to put the password in. Word of advice, I personally don't put this in because I have found from my own student experience that some students do get really upset that has been recorded in an email and that it's potentially 
viewable by somebody. So I personally just put the login link and their email. I don't include the password just because I found it has made some people feel a bit uncomfortable. Okay. Up to you what you choose to do, just sharing some experience. So I normally just do login link, login email. Now we've got the basics in there. Of course, you can put any other text. You might like to say, don't forget to check in on the Facebook group, whatever stuff you want to say in this particular email. But if we go back to Karen's diagram here of what she would like to do, we then want to give them a couple of options. I'm finished or please stop emailing me about this course. Now, because they want to keep on learning, there's not much we need to do with that. It's just going to, they're just going to stay in the automation. So what I would do here is instead of actually putting a button for keep on learning, I'm just going to put something like, if you want to just keep on learning, I will be in touch with you again soon because we don't need to put a link or a trigger link or an action in for something that doesn't require an action, right? If they want to just keep hearing from you, they're just going to stay in this automation. I'll be in touch with you soon. Oh, tough. <laughs> I'll be in touch with you again soon. Okay. Keep going. See you later. All right. Alternatively, if you have finished your course or if you'd like to stop getting reminders about this course, then please hit one of the options below. Okay whatever you want to say so we've put the email now please guys remember to always press save save template this is a cloud-based platform and like all cloud-based platforms if you lose your internet connection you could lose your work okay so press save all the time make it an obsessive habit and you'll never find yourself in a situation where you've lost loads of stuff so what we need to do next is add our little buttons okay so we've got here we want either to give them the option to say i finished my course let's send them to a review or we want to remove them from this workflow if they don't want reminders anymore. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to our email builder on the plus button on the top left hand side it opens up all of your different elements and you'll see that one of the elements we can choose is a button. So I'm going to drag and drop and we've got two buttons. Now that doesn't look great because there's one on top of the other. I want mine side by side. So what we need to do is create two columns so that we can have our buttons side by side instead of on top of each other. How do we do that? Back over on your element section, scroll down underneath your elements and you'll see here you have a two column box. Drag that, drop your two column box over. And now I've got these two columns. Now I can go to this drag and drop section, put one there, grab the other drag and drop section and put the other one there. So now we've got it inside this beautiful little two sided columns. What do we want to happen now? So first of all, let's put our text in. We've got one that wants to say I'm finished the course and the other one we want to say, please take me, stop reminding me. OK, so first of all, click on the button you want to edit over on the left hand side where it says button text. You're going to say, I've finished my course. OK, the next one we want to say, please stop the reminders. OK, we've now got our text in. We can change the color. So clicking on the button color over here, pick whatever color you like. Let's pretend I want it pink. OK, choose your color. Very nice. The next thing we need to happen is if someone clicks the button to say, I finished my course. In Karen's example here, she would like to send them straight to leaving a Google review. So you're going to go to your Google business page and you're going to grab your Google review link. Now, if you're not sure how to do that, simply type your business name into Google and scroll down until you find your Google business page. Click on where it says how many Google reviews you've got and then get more reviews and it will give you your public Google review link page. OK, back to your builder, click on your I finished my course button. And where you've got your text, scroll down, you've got link URL, paste in your Google link URL there. Press save. And now that button, when somebody clicks that, is going to take them to the Google review page. Now, the next thing we want to do is put some kind of link in this button that's going to remove them from this automation. There are a lot of different ways to do this, as I said, but I'm just going to show you one of the ways right now. I'm going to just press duplicate page over here and open up a second tab in my Technatics account. So I'm going to go now and create what's called a trigger link. What is a trigger link? 
A trigger link is a URL that you want the system to track clicks on, i.e. you want to be able to create a workflow in the future that is triggered by someone clicking that very particular link. So what I want to do here is create a link that when somebody clicks that button saying, please remove me from this workflow, we're going to be able to create an action from it. So what do we want to happen if somebody does click this? Ideally, what we'd like is a little page will just pop up to say, congratulations, you've now been removed from the course reminders. However, if you do want to ask me anything, please email this email address or whatever you want it to say. And that's basically just going to be a little page pop up. So inside the email we were building in the section where it says, please stop the course reminders. We're going to click on that button and over in your button itself, what actions do you want to happen? You want to send them to URL and the URL is that particular URL that you've connected to a trigger link. You're going to press save. 